today, we're going to get a grip on your minis. Hi guys, Jonathan from Cure Raven Studios. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe. We have new videos every week and you don't want to miss out. What we're going to go over today is something basic that I think is often overlooked when people miniature paint, and it's how you hold the miniature you're painting. So you could just do something simple, like I'm painting this miniature so I hold it and I paint it. But it's not very good because it's just not a comfortable position for my hand to be trying to hold the miniature like so you want to try to put the miniature on something to make it easier to hold. I have a couple options, and I've experimented over the years. So what I started with is just this simple cork with some tack on the top. Stick it in. Now this is a little bit better. It gives me something to paint. The problem I was having with this though is the bottom of it is not very stable, so sometimes you put it on and it falls over. So I upgraded it to this, which is just I glued a miniature base to the bottom of the piece of cork. So Everything's the same now, except now it's more stable when you set it down. The problem is still, this is still something pretty small to hold and it's not very comfortable to hold. So, what did I do next? I upgraded it to a bigger piece of cork. The fun thing about cork is, if you want to pin something into it, it's easy to drill into and pin. So, now we're a little bit better. Still not great, but a little bit bigger around, easier to hold. A little bit better for painting your life a little bit easier. So this works really well. Not the best. I have something that's a little bit better. What do I use? What I use is this. It's a wooden dowel and then I went to, I think I got it at Michael's, just these little wooden discs on the top and bottom so the flat surface to stand up and then they have surface of the top you can put your miniature on. So I have two versions. I have this version and I have this version. So the difference between the two is this one just has blue tack on the top or tack on the top. So holds the miniature pretty well. But I magnetize all my miniatures for storage. So they have magnets on the bottom. So this one just has a metal plate on the top and the magnet stick. So it gives me the same uh but I'm using magnets. So if you use your Magnets on the base of your miniature, you can just put a metal plate and make it easy. If not, that's what the one with the tack is for. So, how did I make this? I got a dowel. I just went to the uh, hardware store or the um, Lowe's Home Depot, that sort of place. And I just tried to find which one felt the best in my hand, like what uh, diameter dowel. And then, once I figured that, I bought that one and I took it home and then figured how long is my hand that. How long do I want the handle to be so it's something my hand to grab? And I just cut it to that length. Once I had that, like I said, I bought these wooden discs and I just uh, hot glued them to the top and bottom. And now it's just a very simple painting handle. Very comfortable for me to hold. I can paint. And I really like this magnetic one because, like I said, I magnetize the base of all my miniatures. So if I don't want this miniature, just put the next one on, put the next one on, and just go down the line very quickly and easily. Another thing I do when painting, since my uh, miniatures are mostly magnetized, is I have something like this, which is just a piece of steel, and I have all these miniatures are on it. And this is very helpful for the early steps when I'm priming and airbrushing and that sort of thing. I can just put all the miniatures right on here, just go down the line across all of them. And it's very handy to have them here when you're like painting a unit or something like that. They're all on this one piece, and then, like I said, I can just, as I paint that one, I put it on, and I go down next one so as I'm batch painting it's very simple when I combine this handle with this another thing that I use sometimes is just a simple block of wood and you can kind of see I have a pin stuck in here so when I'm painting bigger miniatures and stuff in sub assemblies sometimes it's easier just to pin a bunch of stuff to a block like this I use it mainly when I'm doing the early steps in airbrushing just so I have everything to a block and then once I put everything together I will mount it a different way that's a little bit easier to and this is another something that's very simple that you can do. This is not as nice to hold as the Dow, but it's very simple and easy to do as well. I'm going to go over a little bit of this too. So this is something you can buy. Uh, Games Workshop makes the little painting handle. So what it is, it's, it's spring-loaded at the top. So you just open it up, drop the base in, and now I have a nice painting handle. 
this is pretty good. I like this. Um, it's not what I use most of the time, but it is something very good that if you just don't want to have to make anything, you just want to buy something. These are pretty inexpensive. You can just grab one of these and you're ready to go. They make them in different sizes too in case you have bigger bases. But like I said, this was just a quick one today to give you an idea of using something to hold your miniatures because it's so much better, especially if you're painting for a long time. Your hand is going to cramp up trying to you know, hold the base of the miniature like this. It's just, it's not comfortable. You want something that's very easy and comfortable. This is a cheap, easy solution that I found. Like I said, this one's magnetic because my uh, miniature's magnetized, but you don't have to. You can just put some tack on the top of the same thing and get the same result. Hope you found this useful. If you did, please leave a like, hit subscribe. We have new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so you don't want to miss out. Until next time, keep on gaming at... Hey, you're nice.